Hi, this is Matt with Champion Coach, and today we are opening up, actually opening up multiple KVH A9 satellites. We had this one um, that on the KVH receiver was showing that there was no power or connection to the satellite. So we're in here diagnosing this today, and one of the first issues that we found is the GPS puck right here actually broke off, and the pieces of the board here, which are right here, ended up being jammed in the track so that the the dish could not rotate around. So I had an extra GPS puck in stock, um, which was already secured to a housing here. Um, harness looks good. It's secured with some RTV so it can't come apart. Um, and then what I did was I removed the old cover, unplugged the GPS puck from the connector right here. And so basically it's just plug and play. I'm gonna put this cover back on and connect that. And of course, while I was in here, during the manufacturing process, KVH does not add any thread locker or anything on your main power and signal coax cables here. Um, what I have is just some Loctite 290 thread locker, so I'll just put a little dab on each of these and screw them tight. Um, but normally, if you lose connection to your satellite, you can almost guarantee that it's either one of these two issues. Either the GPS puck has come apart and jammed up in the track, or the coax cables here have become loose because there's nothing holding them on the threads other than the proper torque. But over time with the vibrations and movement, they seem to become loose. So um, also sometimes you may find little pieces. I found this, I'm not sure what this goes to, but I found this little piece here that was jammed um, in the ball bearings for the track. So you just wanna check and make sure everything's moving like it should be without any problems. And um, I'm gonna seal this back up and then uh, that'll be it. Anytime I open up a KVH satellite, whether it's an A9 or an A7, I just go ahead, test everything, and then I actually put a little bit of silicone lubricant all in these areas that move. However, don't ever apply any to this belt or you may have some problems with this gripping, but it's very rare that the motor um, for the LMB here and this little motor that turns the belt underneath fail. Um, but you can see this one actually has come apart a little bit, this little heat shrink type thing, but um, that's okay. It doesn't look like it's gonna come off, but we just wanna spray a little bit of lubricant. Remember these uh, satellites operate in extreme temperatures. It is black, so high heat in the summer, um, and of course, bitter cold in the winter. And you can see coming back around here, I've installed the cover. You can see a little bit of the green thread locker there, so that's been installed. And then of course I have my GPS puck that's been um, attached with some RTV. And the number one reason that this actually detaches is because of a pore adhesive that they've used that um, does not stand up to extreme temperatures. So just keep that in mind, just re-secure it um, with some RTV or Gorilla Glue or really anything other than, you know, padded 3M, you know, foam adhesive on both sides. And so next we're gonna plug this up to our test bed and give it a test, make sure we got all green lights and then, uh, we're gonna install it right back on the top of this uh, 2018 J4500. Right, we've got it hooked up to the test bed here. And um, basically what I did, I took the harness that comes with the uh, KVH TV hub and just simply uh, put some connectors on it and just wired it straight into this uh, group 31 12 volt battery here. So I'll just power this up. And it's gonna go through its boot sequence, so we're gonna get some green lights and some amber lights and the like, um, and it's gonna boot up, and sometimes it can take a few minutes, but I always wanna hook it up and boot it up after I've taken all the time to remove it and open up the cover. So you just wanna check and make sure, if you've got all green lights with the antenna light is green and flashing, then you're simply golden. I'm to the point where I know whether the satellite's gonna work or not, so I don't necessarily take it outside. I just do it inside. And of course, there's no satellite service in here, but very shortly, we should see the antenna start to turn. And of course, once it starts to turn and try to find a satellite signal, at that point, we know we're good to go. So we can reinstall the dome cover and the trim. And wow, look at that. So it's still going through startup sequence now. So we have one green light on power but we're just waiting for our green on TV hub and then we want a flashing green on antenna, but power looks good and everything else. So you may be able to see it's rotating a little bit. The LMB is moving back and forth. So that's a great sign. And of course we've got our three green here. So we've got TV hub, antenna and power. And of course 
the antenna flashing green is not going to turn solid until it locks onto an antenna. So if I were to take this right outside, of course it would lock on and it's still trying to search around, of course, in here. So it's not going to find anything. Um, and then of course there is an amber light that can come on as well. So all the amber light means is that it's having trouble recognizing its GPS location and you can actually change that in the settings to uh, run off of a set location versus the GPS location um, that's been found by this puck here. So, all right, so we are now inside the bus here and uh, we've got the TV hub is booting up and of course the receiver is on and it's starting to run through receiver self-check. Um, so now all we want to do is wait until we get three green lights or remember we can have a middle flashing amber for um, the GPS location being set. So let's see how it goes here. And we've got the bus moved away from the shop a little bit. We've got three green lights. So it actually did find the location and it's locked on to satellite. If we go to DirecTV here, it is uh, populating actually extremely quickly. So that's a great sign. Um, so once this finishes up, we're just going to grab the remote and test out a few channels, make sure uh, there's no disruptions or that it doesn't need a signal refresh. Under your head. So, Stuff equipment, two useful markets that can hold remotes. Class All right, and it looks like we got pictures, so we'll just try a couple other channels. I, I normally like to try a news channel and uh, weather channel. And, and everything everything looks good with that so we got three green receivers on picture we got happy customers happy driver and most of all happy bus